can hear the music we just put in. So this is a uh, proof that it works. I am Sasyata, I'm a Pokemon ROM hacker, and I'm gonna show you today how you can make your own music in your Pokemon game. Going into this, I'm assuming that you know how to make music already. I'm not gonna teach you how to write a song because uh, I'm not a music person. Uh, you definitely need to know how to do that before going into this. So if you wanna learn how to make music, use YouTube, use Google for that, um, and then come back here once you've done that. Making music in a DS game is a little bit complicated. You have to use something called sequenced audio. If you've ever used Spotify, you just click on a song and it plays the MP3. However, in the DS world, you need to give it a list of instructions on what notes to play. This is normally called a MIDI file in music. The catch here is that we need to use instructions instruments that are already in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is get ourselves a MIDI editor or a DAW. And the one I like to use is Cakewalk since it's free. So let's search up Cakewalk download. If you are not using Cakewalk and you have your own uh, MIDI editor already, that's great. I'm assuming that you already know how to make music. So you should have one of these presumably. And we're also going to need to grab um, Bat Bass MIDI VST. Go to this link right here that I'm going to put in the description, and this will give you the Bass MIDI VSTi plugin. We need this to work with sound fonts. So go ahead and download this. And the other two tools we're going to need are in the audio editing uh, part of the Google Drive link that I'm going to have also in the description. And you're going to want to use Nitro Studio and VGM Trans. So these are the two that you're going to want to download. Once you have those downloaded, uh, we can begin. I should also mention that once you have this VST, if you have not used a MIDI editor or a DAW before, there's going to be a folder that holds your VST plugins. So for me, it's in under my program files, Cakewalk VST plugins, and you'll see I just pasted the base MIDI VSTi right here. We're going to also need to use Tink. So we're gonna open up Tink, and I'm assuming that you have a ROM in mind. So we're going to take the HeartGold ROM. Let's open this up. So this is my HeartGold Fresh and we're going to open up the data sound GS sound data and we're going to extract this and then save it as GS sound data. We're also going to do the same thing with our platinum game. So we're going to scroll down to wherever you have your platinum ROM and you're going to open up plat vanilla right here. Similarly, we're going to go into data sound and then PL sound data. You're going to want to make sure you have this one. And then we're going to extract this and save it. Uh, I'm just going to close because I already have it saved. And then once you have those two files saved, you can just close out Tink. We are not going to need it anymore. So the next step is using VGM Trans in order to get the sound font data that we need. So wherever you have it saved, I have it in my downloads folder because I'm a little scrub like that. Uh, I'm going to go into VGM Trans, I'm going to go into Bin, and I'm going to click on this application and it should open up pretty quickly. So now we're going to go to File Open, and we want the sound font from Heart Gold because we're going to be putting music into Heart Gold. So for me, I have my GS Sound data right here. I'm going to click Open, and it's going to open up a bunch of different files. We have some Wave Archives, we have some sequenced audio, which is what we're going to be importing into heart gold eventually but most importantly we have our banks and we want to look for a basic bank so we're going to take basic bank and we're going to convert to sound font 2 and we're just going to save it as bank basic.sf2 and you'll notice that i already have that right here so don't worry about that uh, just click save and you'll be good to go we don't need vgm trans anymore now we're going to start extracting music from platinum and we're going to put it into Heart Gold. So now we need to go to Nitro Studio 2, wherever you have that saved. Double click on that. We're going to click on the Nitro Studio 2 application, and I'm going to run as administrator uh, because there's some problems that come up when you don't run it as administrator. Uh, certain things don't like export and import properly, uh, just from my own experience. So we're gonna go to File, Open. And now we're going to go to where we've stored our uh, PL sound data. So we're gonna open up PL sound data and we're going to go to sequence export mode where it says Nitro Studio here. We're gonna click on that and go SSEQ to MIDI. So what this does is it takes the sequenced audio and exports it as the common .mid file, which is what we're gonna be opening in our Cakewalk application. We're going to go to uh, sound sequences. And now we have a 
whole bunch of different sound sequences. So these are all things that are in the game. If you click on one of them, you will see pretty quickly what it is. So I click on Sequence Gym, for instance, and if I hit play, So Nitro Studio 2 can actually play the music as it would sound in game. Now there is a caveat to this, if your sound uh, file is too big or it has too many channels in it, then it might not actually play in game because there's not enough memory. So you'll notice that this file is only 8 kilobytes, so that's really small, uh, but don't worry, you shouldn't really have that big of a file anyway. Uh, with also the different banks, so this is the bank for the field. But you'll notice that the basic bank is like the overarching bank for all instruments. So anything that's in one of these other banks in the 700s is also in the basic bank. It's like other another thing you want to um, note is the volume. This goes up to 127. There's also the fields player. Um, this there's a bunch of different players. You'll want to look at. Uh, you want to use player one. Think of these as like. Uh, not like the players in like the NPCs, but the players like is actually playing the music in the background. The player field is what you want to use for any overworld music. So for instance, if we wanted to do Cynthia's theme, we would have to grab the appropriate sequenced audio track for that because that's basically the MIDI that the game is reading to produce music. The thing I'm going to be doing here that's probably the easiest is the I champ, which means what happens right before the uh, champion fight. You'll probably recognize this. It uses the BGM player and it uses the basic bank. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on iChamp and we're going to export and we're going to uh, save this as a MIDI. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open this file that we just exported. So we're going to open, so go to our music folder, you'll see sequence iChamp open and this will open it in uh, Cakewalk. So now we are finally viewing the track. Now. One thing to note is that if I just hit play, so hit spacebar, sounds really weird. And this also isn't how it's going to sound in Heart Gold. It doesn't sound terrible, you can tell what the track is, but it's not exactly how it's going to sound in Heart Gold. We want to know exactly what instruments to use. So if I click on any one of these given uh, tracks, you'll notice over here, this little patch here, this tells me uh, which instrument index I'm using. And so you can find what all these instrument indices are with this list that I'm going to also include in the description. Uh, it goes from 0 to 59. Uh, and you can basically just reassign instruments from here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hit add instrument and then I'm going to instead of default TTS we're going to go to uh, base MIDI VST I, uh, if you don't have it uh, as a recent thing, it might be in uncategorized base MIDI VST, so let's open it from there. Hit create. And now you'll notice this thing comes up, and we're going to click on sound font slash base MIDI setup. And we're going to click on uh, file, and we're going to open up our basic bank. So this basically allows us to use the sounds from the game in our MIDI editor. So we actually know what it's going to sound like. Hit OK. Close that out. And now we have this plugin. So let's expand this plugin. And uh, what you'll notice when I click on any of these tracks, it says Cakewalk right here. So this is the in and the out. We want to change this to two. We're gonna wanna do that for all of these. But luckily there's a quick way to do it. If hit control and click on each of these, select them all. And then as we're still holding down control, click on Cakewalk and go to base MIDI VST, you'll notice that it changes all of them, so this should save you a bunch of time. Now if we hit play, it sounds really bad, but this is exactly how it's going to sound in game. So it's very important to have this base MIDI VST plugin because this is actually what the game is going to sound like. Now we have to reassign the instruments in order to use this. Now I will also mention that if we want to look at things like patch changes, uh, you'll see this little P2 right here. We can actually view those with view and then event list. Uh, and it should be listed in here and it should be called a patch change. So let's actually go scroll through here and you'll see it'll say what kind. This is a patch change and it tells us what we're changing to. Um, 
So if we want to edit what we're changing to, we should put it here. So uh, if we solo this track real quick, let's just try this out. You'll notice that you don't really hear much with this P3 right here. It's because it's a very low sound. You can hear kind of a thrum. It's using the electric piano at a very, very low um, pitch, and so that's why you're not hearing it. And then it switches to P2, which is your patch 2. And now you hear that it seems like the acoustic grand piano. Okay, so the unfortunate thing about this is that not every instrument that's in Platt has a similar sample in Heart Gold. Uh, I personally find that the instruments in Heart Gold are completely awful, but it's what we have to work with. And if you want to add your own samples, that is a completely different uh, monster. I'm not going to go into that because I actually don't know how to do that. Uh, this by itself takes quite a while to set up and do. But anyway, let's say that you get all of your instruments set up. All you're going to need to do is just go to File, Save, or just hit Control S and you'll be good to go. So we're going to go to Nitro Studio 2, right click this, click Run as Administrator, hit Yes. We're going to go to File, Open, and we're going to go to the GS Sound Data. So let's open this up, and we're going to switch this to MIDI to SSEQ. So we're going to import it as a MIDI and convert it to an SSEQ. We're going to go to Sound Settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, right click the last track, hit Add Below, and then we get this new blank piece of music. We're going to replace this with the sequenced eye champ that we just uh, finished editing. Gonna hit open. You'll see a little flash, and then it will be imported. So let's say we want to overwrite the original root music. So let's say we're on root uh, 29, which is 1028. If I play that. Uh, a pretty good classic. What we're going to want to do is copy all of these pieces of information here. So this is 702 is our bank as well as player field uh, as uh, indexed as 1. So now we're going to scroll all the way back down. We're going to replace the bank with the bank from root 29. We're also going to replace the player with the field player. And if we play this... Sounds like Cynthia's intro theme. Okay, so that's what's, what it's hopefully going to sound like in game. We're going to go to File and hit Save As. And I've already so saved it as GS Sound Data 2. And we'll go ahead and uh, save that. And uh, when we can close out of Nitro Studio 2, we don't need that anymore. Uh, and once we have that saved, what we're going to want to do is go back to Tank and click on Tink, open this up, and go to the ROM that we want to insert this into. So let's go to our ROMs folder, and go to the uh, HD Fresh or whatever other ROM that you're using. I'm going to go to Data, Sound, GS Sound Data, and change the file to be uh, what we just exported. So let's go to our music folder, and uh, replace this with the GS Sound Data 2, and we're going to open that, and then we're going to click Save ROM. I have already saved my ROM um, as uh, something else, but uh, you can go ahead and save it wherever you want, and then you can click it out of the Tink. And then the last thing, I call this one uh, with Cynthia, since it has Cynthia's music. And if we uh, open this ROM with uh, whatever emulator we want, uh, in my case, I use Desmumi, so I can just double click, go to File, Open, ROM, and with Cynthia, I'm just going to skip to the part where I'm actually listening to the music. So I found, I, I just went through the quick tutorial in the beginning, and I'm going to use my walkthrough wall cheats just to get past this lady in the beginning. You'll notice when we get to Route 29, you can hear the music we just put in. So this is a uh, proof that it works. It looks, it sounds a little weird, uh, probably because um, it's using different instruments, but this is the best we can really do. You can also write your own tracks and put them in here, just make sure they're not too big. So let's pause the emulator for now. So that's how you do it. If you want to learn more about ROM hacking, you can join my Discord, you can subscribe to this channel, 
and you can also join the Kingdom of DS Hacking Discord, which I am a member of, which is where I learned how to do all of this. So I hope you enjoy this video. This has been Sasya. See you in the next video.